Hey guys, so, well I thought I'd make a video to show you on how to replace the drive belt on a Craftsman lawnmower with front wheel drive self-propelled, like on this one. Now this will also comply to a Husqvarna that would also have front wheel drive self-propelled. So this is actually a pretty easy procedure to do. And so without further ado, we'll uh, get started here. First things first before you do any kind of work on your lawnmower is disconnect your spark plug wire from the spark plug just to prevent accidental starting. So first we'll need to take this uh, belt cover off and it's held on by this bolt right here and it's a uh, 5 16 Okay, so the cover just comes right off. Next we'll need to uh, loosen up these bolts on this uh, belt guard right here. And they are a quarter inch. Just so that way make it easy for us to take the belt right off. Now you don't really have to take them completely off like I'm doing. Just so this way we can be able to get this belt right off the pulley. So just like that. Next, uh, flip your mower over and remove the blade and also whenever you do tip your mower over make sure you flip it over with the carburetor facing up and I find the easiest way to take a blade off is with a an impact driver and uh, this is a 14 millimeter socket and in this case we can be able to just Take the belt off and slide the blade adapter <laughs> off. And the belt's off. Now before you do replace your belt, also check uh, your pulley right here on your blade adapter to make sure it's still shaped like a V, which in this case it still is. If it ain't, then if you do replace your belt, it's not going to grip on there that well which in that case you would need a, a new uh, blade adapter. And if you would need a, a new blade adapter for one of these, I think that's your part number right here. Just to get a look at that. It's four, part number is 421782, so you can probably get, get these online or get them from Sears. Alright, so now we'll take our new belt, which in this case, this is actually the exact same belt that I just took off of it. So it's still good. I'm just doing this for video purposes only. So this end of the belt, we'll kind of wrap it around through there, which that's where it'll come out through the front at. Go ahead and get this blade adapter on. We'll kind of get it lined up along with the key on the crankshaft. Alright, in that case it's in there. And we'll just push it all the way through, which in that case it is. And now, now on the underside it's pretty much done. Now we'll just need to Put our blade back on. And then you can just tighten it back up with uh, your uh, wrench. 
Okay, so now that we have the mower back on all four wheels, now take this end of the belt, get it onto the pulley right here. There we go. It makes it so easy to put the belt back on this pulley without this uh, belt guard on. So now we'll need to put it back on, which it goes on like this. That way it helps uh, to help keep the belt on from coming off of the pulley. And now we'll get those uh, quarter inch bolts and then tighten them up. And finally, put your uh, belt cover back on. So it goes in just like that. All right, so it's all in there. And now tighten up the that nut, which it's a, uh, once again, a 5 16th. All right, and it's all done. So this procedure probably took probably about maybe five minutes to do. So it's really easy. It's much easier to replace the drive belt on a lawnmower with front wheel drive self-propelled. And so, yep. So this is how you would uh, replace your uh, drive belt on either a Craftsman or a Hustler on a lawnmower with front wheel drive self-propelled. And obviously the very last thing is reconnect your spark plug and then test out your uh, transmission to make sure it's still working. Alright, so just give your mower a start and make sure the transmission works. Uh, now if I can get the lawnmower to start. Oh, she's gonna go. So once again, that's how you uh, replace the drive belt on either your Craftsman or Husqvarna lawnmower with front wheel drive self-propelled. It's that easy. Alright, so I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And so, thanks for watching.